I'm so frustrated. This is like the fourth take on this video, so. It's early this morning. I'm making mistakes, but it's all good. What is up, G Crew? I'm Chris G, bringing you guys another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be editing another photo. So let's get started. So this photo was actually sent by Music by AVI um, on Instagram, so shout out to him. I'll link the, um, his Instagram page down in the description below. But without further ado guys, let's get started with the edit, because um, that's what you're here for. So first thing we're going to do is start cropping it um, and just making it more even, because I don't like how he took it uh, angled like that, so I'm going to you know, just adjust that, just because I think it looks better that way for myself. So I'm going to increase the exposure. Um, you know, increase the contrast, lower the highlights, bring some more detail into the clouds. But I might change that in a little bit. The shadows are going to be brought up, and the blacks will be brought up a bit. There we go. So we got that settled. We're going to leave all this alone for now. We're going to saturate it a little bit, not too much. Um, but overall, that looks fine for now. What we're going to be doing in this video, guys, is just going to, you know, overdo all the selective tool. We're gonna use it to its full potential. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the, the lake or the river, and we're going to change the temperature of it and make it blue like that. So now that we've done that, we can go to the color tool and mess with the blues that we just made. That way they're not too overdone or whatever. So lowering the luminance kind of brings out the color as well. So just keep that in mind. Those of you that weren't aware of that, so let's do that, and then we're gonna bring another selected tool, or another selection, and we're gonna paint the grass here. And we're gonna just paint the grass up here. I guess, I don't know if there's trees here, or if, I don't know how far this was from the actual camera itself, but we're gonna get the eraser tool. The reason why I'm not painting the far back of that um, hill, what the heck just happened? There we go. The reason, why, the reason why I'm not painting that is just because in real life, you know, the farther something is, the, the less color you get to see. So, and that's pretty much why this photo, you weren't able to see um, these colors right here, but I'm gonna make them pop out just to make the image that much better. So, now that we got that situated, we're gonna bring the greens out like that. And right now they look very, very bad. But, you know, I'm going to saturate it, and then I'm going to also go to the color tool, the color wheel, mess with the greens, and just saturate it a lot like that, so. That actually looks a little bit better. I don't know how it's going to come out in the end, but I think it looks alright. I'm going to desaturate all that. Now, something I don't actually like is how some of the dirt is green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this tool and just erase where it should really be green. So there we go, I got that figured out. Now I'm also gonna select another tool, uh, another part of the image, which is gonna be this rock area. And now with this rock, I'm gonna just make sure it's just the rock, it's nothing else around it. I'm going to desaturate it so that way it's just white and so I need to erase where it's around the rock. Hmm. Alright, that looks fine. So already it looks pretty good guys. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient tool. So I'm going to just bring it from the top like so, and I'm gonna mess with the lighting, bring up the exposure so it looks like it's the sun. And to make it look that much more like the sun, I'm actually gonna try to see if I can make it. No, it's not gonna work with me like that, that's fine. Uh, let's see, actually, I think I'm gonna be able to do that. I just have to lower it. Do I have to lower the, uh, I start seeing the sky there, but nope, that's not gonna work. That's fine though. That works. I just wanted to make it look like the sun shining down, or there's, a, you know, the sun is still alive right there, and that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing I'm gonna do just to balance out the photo is from the bottom going to like the top, I guess. I want it to be darker, not that dark, just a little bit darker. Just so it's brighter in the top, it's darker in the bottom, and it evens out the photo. So 
that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really used the select tool a uh, crap ton in this video. So I hope you learned you know, how you can mess with the colors with the selective tool, being able to just pick a part of the image and make it green or make it blue or make it purple or whatever you want. You can make it whatever color you, you need. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Have a good night or day whenever you're watching this. If you want me to edit your photo, you can send it to me on any social media platform that you want. Um, I'll, you know, get back to you with that. Um, just make sure that they're raw. But without further ado, guys, please comment, like, subscribe. Peace.